taking your fabric you're going to make a fold just wide enough for the back piece you're going to place the center back on the fold trace the pattern and cut it out Holding the fabric again, you're going to place the front pattern onto the fabric. The fabric is doubled so that you would cut out both front panels at the same time. Tracing the pattern and cutting it out. So we are going to take the measurement of the armhole and this would be used for cutting out the sleeve. Here we are taking the sleeve length. The length of sleeve that I chose is 13 inches and here I am drawing the curve of the sleeve. And that measurement that we took from the armhole is being measured out now so that it can match up for when the pieces are sewn together. After cutting out the sleeves, we are going to cut five strips of fabric, three that are five inches wide and two that are four inches wide. The three that are five inches wide are to add bands to the ends of the sleeves and around the neckline and front of the row. The one that is the two that are four inches wide are for the belt of the row. Here I'm just cutting a strip of fabric to make loops for the robe. So we start putting the robe together by placing the two front pieces on the back piece with the right sides together and stitching along the shoulder. Then I take two of the 5 inch wide pieces and stitch them together right side together and then I fold them, I fold it in half to add the band to the neckline and front of the robe. So for this part of the project, you are going to fold the band together, wrong side together. However, the right side of the fabric is going against the right side of the rope. After stitching one side, I flip it around and stitch the other side. Using a similar method, I cut the final 5 inch wide strip in half and I'm going to fold it in half and add it right side onto the right side of the sleeve and add the band to the sleeve. 
going to do this with both sleeves. After adding the band to both sleeves and serging it, I am adding a top stitch to the sleeves and the band at the front of the rope. Here I'm marking the center of the sleeve that will be sewn onto the shoulder of the rope. I stitch my sleeves from the shoulder to the armhole. I just think it's easier for me to do it that way. After adding both sleeves, the rope is turned inside out and the sleeves are matched up and we're going to stitch straight down the side of the sleeve, matching the sleeves together and the side of the rope. So we're going to stitch the back piece onto the front piece. Once again, this is done with the right sides together, we are stitching on the wrong side. Now I'm going to stitch the two 4 inch pieces together to make the waistband. So this time the band is folded the right sides together, we are stitching on the wrong side but I'm leaving a gap to turn the waistband, I'm going to stitch all the way to the end and then fold it in half and cut it to the length that I want and then turn it over onto the right side. Here I'm doing the same thing with the loop and using a piece of wire to turn it over to the right side. After turning over the belt, a stitch is added to close the gap. Um, the loops are cut at 3 inches and stitched and then I'm going to add the loops to the 
side of the each side of the robe and i'm going to hem the bottom of the robe and we are almost done Thank you.